Hello, this is Lance Cleveland, creator of the Store Locator Plus plugin for WordPress. I'm going to go over some of the changes with 4.3.06. That was a patch release that went out today. The big change in 4.3.06 that will affect international users doing language translations is the change of the text domain. The text domain is the slug that is used with various add-on packs like WPML and other plugins that do language translation, it will mean that some users will have to retranslate their plugins. Now, some of the third-party tools out there will allow you to change a plugin domain when you're doing these text translations for the languages. The old text domain was csa-sl+. The new text domain is store-locator-le. This was not changed on a whim. This is to be fully compatible with a forthcoming feature of WordPress that is the plugin translation feature. There is a service at translate.wordpress.org that will allow for shared uh, text strings to be uh, used with translation files. It will make it a lot more efficient and WordPress is given priority to plugins that use that feature. So this makes Word, the Store Locator Plus plugin compatible with the forthcoming Translate features in WordPress. And you can learn more about that at translate.wordpress.org. So the other changes are fixes to the map. The info bubble now comes up when you click on the map. And it uh, comes up when you click on the results. There was a bug in the slp.js JavaScript that has been fixed, so that now works. Some other features are things you will not see unless you're a Premier Pack uh, member. So if you have a Premier subscription, there is a forthcoming release of the Premier plugin that adds some new features. Uh, also, some of the features in Enhanced Search and Enhanced Results will um, address this. So some of the things you'll be able to do in the forthcoming Premier um, plugin is adding things like a subtitle to a search box, which I'll show you in a moment and you can also do things with results such as stop the div wrapper around the results below the map that's important for the page structure you can also add a results header so in this case i'm using it in a design for a client to put the results in a table which you could not do previously so 4306 enables this to function correctly and you can then along with that put your results layout into table rows which I'm doing here and part of that also comes along with Premier Pack having column headers up to four column headers that correspond to the uh, columns now there will be a new uh, plugin style that will work with that which I'm going to uh, show you here this is what I'm using with the site this is the Premier Pack subtitle for a search box. This is the search title. And you can see here is our column headers and everything stored inside of a column and table. This is a hard column and table not simulated with divs um, for websites that are looking for that. So 4.3.06 will address all those issues. Uh, in addition, the info bubbles now are back intact. Um, that's for any plugin, any uh, plugin style that you're using. That will be back in place. Also, a bug that's been in the product, I guess, for a little while now is you can, once again, set your map width to auto, and it will retain the um, blank setting here, which previously, uh, if you set this to blank, it kept resetting back to percentage. That was a minor bug, but it does have a big impact on some sites. That has been addressed. Uh, also, 4306 simplifies uh, part of the theme loader, which means that when um, customers are going to your site and they're viewing the map page, there's actually a little bit less overhead going on now with the themes. Uh, previously, it was loading the administrator classes and objects and a bunch of stuff into memory that just were never used. And uh, that's now been relegated to being loaded only when you're actually managing themes such as on the Experience View tab, for example. Uh, so it should be a tiny bit quicker, uh, use a little bit less memory. Uh, again, the biggest change is for international users that are doing on-the-fly translations. You may need to redo your translations. Hopefully, your translation 
plugin of choice will allow you to change the text domain from csa-sl plus to store-locator-le and make that a quick and relatively uh, pain-free experience. Thanks for supporting Store Locator Plus.